all right so we come to the next question and it says that what is the chromatic number of an n word x simple connected graph which does not contain any odd length cycle so it is asking about something called chromatic number so what is chromatic number uh, it's the same thing that we have seen before but not use the term chromatic number chromatic number is the minimum number of colors that you need to give colors to the vertices of a graph such that no two adjacent vertices have same color all right we have seen this before so we just gave it a name chromatic number the least number of colors that are needed and then we are given an n vertex simple connected graph it does not contain any odd light odd length cycle okay so it does not contain any odd length cycle so what is what does that mean so it means that there are two possibilities what are those two possibilities so it does not contain any odd length cycle so it means that it can contain an even length cycle all right or it may not contain any cycle so the first possibility is that no cycle there is no cycle in the graph because then it will not contain odd length cycle if there is no cycle at all and the second possibility is that it contains it contains even length cycle okay and then we'll see case by case what happens when it contains no cycle and when it contains only even length cycles okay i should say cycles out here because oh cycles all right because it might contain more than one cycle which are all even length so what about no cycle that means it is a tree and what do we know about trees we can always color trees with just two colors okay two colors are enough to color any tree which means that the chromatic number of a tree is two okay uh, it's a standard theorem you can you can draw any tree and try to do it you can even prove it quite easily i'm going into that because it's very obvious that how you can color a tree with two colors we'll come to this thing called even length cycles okay and and what we know with there are two standard theorems that we know about these cycles and chromatic numbers so if there is an odd length cycle so what do we mean by odd length cycles and even length cycles so in that cycle there are odd number of edges or even number of edges so for example this cycle okay this cycle on four vertices is an even length cycle because there are even number of edges or even even number of vertices you can say so there's one two three and four so it's even four is even and similarly you can have something odd out here uh, the cycle with odd number of edges in the cycle like this okay so this is with three vertices or three edges this is an odd length cycle and this is an even length cycle that's it so what do you know there's the standard theorems that this one you can color with just two colors and even length okay one okay and then two and then three this is red and then there is green so red green red green only you need only two colors but when you do it with an odd length cycle so I start with green I give this one red now this one I cannot give it green I cannot give it red because then this will have the same color as either red or green and the adjacent vertices cannot have same color so I have to give it some other color let's say I give it blue so this one you can color with two colors and this one you need three colors all right so and these we did with with three vertices and we did with four vertices but you can check with any number of vertices uh, which are either odd or even it will always be the same and it's, it's quite obvious you can see it that how it is three and two all right so this is fine so now that we know that we can color them 
color and even length cycle with two colors and an odd length cycle with three colors let let's see what all possibilities we can have out here okay so okay so if there is only one even length cycle because there could be more than one cycle in in the graph that we are dealing with the graph that has even number of cycles so if there is only one even length cycle we can color it with two colors that is fine suppose there are more than one even length cycle so there are, then what can happen then again you can have a possibility where there is an even length cycle like this okay so this is an even length cycle and in the same graph there is one more even length cycle let's say you have a cycle like this okay these are the vertices okay yeah so this is one cycle and this is another even length cycle so in this case also again what you can do you can give this one green and then you can go here and color it color this cycle with two colors and then you can go here and color this cycle with two colors and you will again get only two colors when so this is the case when these two cycles there's more than one cycle and they share a common vertex they don't share a common edge but there is a common vertex in which case you can obviously see that you can give it green color and go here color it with two color this one with two and you'll have again two as your chromatic number now let's talk about the case when this, the cycles that you have has share an edge or more than one edge let's see what happens in that case so again I'm, I'm going to start with this simple thing so suppose this is one cycle of four the, so it has it's even and then there is another let's say this one okay this is again of four now what you can do so suppose I give this one this common edge I'll always focus on common edge so I'll give this one yellow and I'll give this one green and then I can go here and complete this one with two colors only and this the same I can do out here and complete this with two colors so that's the main point out here no matter how many cycles you have whether they share edges or whether they share vertices if you only have even length cycles the point is there is no odd length cycle then you can always color this one with just two colors so the chromatic number is two okay